cooperation. Um, the um, American missionary Edward Griber is calling out the names um, and also he's saying, don't be afraid, come here. Um, this is an image that really triggered uh, Roy and uh, I, I recognize his fascination for uh, his tribals uh, when I see this fragment. Cheer! Cheer! Why venture into unknown country uh, with a harsh climate, scarce on food, uh, with no communications and infrastructure? He's alive! possible to communicate with the people in their own language. Um, being dependent for six weeks on the local uh, situation, the local circumstances and the people. Uh, so I had to find my own motive to go there and I thought <laughs> was taking a risk and I, I had the same problem as Roy had uh, how to get to an idea about where I was going um, of course Roy supplied me with a lot of material um, which he had seen and uh, read <laughs> I can, uh, I can face, um, I get a glimpse, a glimpse of the hardship and I can face the hardship, uh, the lack of harmony and um, the alienation of a, of a journey like this.
It extends from 51 minutes 26 seconds to 55 minutes 21 seconds west by Quinian's compass. It is called Somerset by default, usually going under other names, so zealous are its politicians. Ballyhister, Van Ho, Caven, Milburn Port. I've got, maybe got better at kind of knowing how to create some accident. use them they, they recur in like a number of my films and uh, I like what happens when people put masks on Thank you. 
but they change because of the context and I'm kind of interested in that in what a viewer brings to a certain yeah. You know, he, he had pirate copies of them. And I think that somehow did plant you know, he, he had pirate copies of them. And I think that somehow did plant you no know, he, he had pirate copies of them. And I think that somehow did plant